my students coming to the next topic that is a software re-engineering so so far we have discussed about the forward engineering reverse engineering then what is a software re-engineering now let us see a software re-engineering it is an activity let me write the definition first later i'll explain this it is an activity that improves once understanding one's understanding of software or prepares or still improves improves the software itself useful for usually sorry usually for increased maintainability maintainability reusability evolvability so what it's saying that now let us see a software re-engineering it is an activity that improves one's understanding of software mainly the use of re-engineering is to understand the software or to prepare the software or to improve the software itself usually for why we are improving the software and why there is a uh, requirement to understand the software because of our increasing the maintainability reusability and availability we are using the software re-engineering process okay i understand that software re-engineering is nothing but it uh, it is helpful for improves the one's understanding of software so how we are doing this software re-engineering forward engineering means going forward by taking specifications and try to implement the project reverse engineering means with the help of the code we are trying to find out the problems i mean uh, we'll reach to the documentation stage then what is software re-engineering the software re-engineering is done is nothing but you have to take the existing system means already developed a system you have to take the existing system try to go back go back means it's nothing but reverse engineering you follow the reverse engineering strategy here in one phase take the existing system follow the reverse engineering strategy you will get an abstract view abstract view and you will you have taken the abstract view and start to uh, use the forward engineering technique here forward engineering that is nothing but re-engineering system then finally you will get the re-engineering system so i hope you understand it's nothing but a maintenance you are doing the maintenance of your system by following the software re-engineering technique first you have to take the existing system follow the reverse engineering abstract view and then try to by taking the abstract view of your exact system and try to uh, follow the same procedure a software development life cycle procedure that is a forward engineering and you will get the re-engineering system so re-engineering is nothing but is the one phase is reverse and one phase is a forward okay so this is the basic definition of the software re-engineering now let us see the re-engineering advantages and re-engineering uh, cost effectives and the process activities <coughs> 